Previously, I was thinking that history was just about facts, facts, and the facts. Have you ever wondered why it's hard to feel a connection with history? When it's just like you have to memorize, that's no fun. Does studying history seem like it's irrelevant to your life? A history class can be boring if you're learning about stuff that you're not interested in. So how do we make history fun and meaningful? Hi, I'm Mr. History. I'm here to help you explore National History Day. A mistake a lot of people make about history is that it's the study of some old dead people that don't matter anymore today. When you look at history with a little more depth, you may be surprised at the personal connections you will make. More importantly, studying history will build your research and presentation skills and help you get ready for college. I guess it just intrigues me a lot the way that History sometimes seems to repeat itself. Your History Day project will take you beyond the textbook as you investigate a topic that you get to choose. And here are some of the people who are going to help you along the way. This is way different from reading books and taking tests. History Day is a competition that gives you total control of your learning. You pick the subject, you do the research, and you manage your own time. The reason why I chose my topic it was because I wanted to do something about my people. Ah, Hispanic people. I think you have more passion for the topic if like it's not forced upon you. Plus, you can choose to do a documentary, a performance, a website, a paper, or an exhibit. Whether you like working with technology, performing, writing, or constructing, there is a History Day category to match your interests. Let's take a look at each one. Documentary, if you're good with computers, I'd recommend doing it, or if you like making videos. Documentary is a great category for an individual or a group with an interest in technology and multimedia. After you research your topic, you'll write a script, collect images and video clips, conduct interviews, and edit the video. In late 1955, Rosa Parks, secretary of the Montgomery, Alabama chapter of the NAACP, participated in several desegregation workshops at Highlander. When I started out, I didn't know how much fun it would be, but I thought it would be kind of intriguing just to try because I'd seen other people make videos. And once I got into it, I realized this, this was actually pretty fun. And so I started refining it and I got to edit it in cool different ways and find music and pictures. In addition to an editing system, you may need access to a video camera and a microphone. If you don't have this equipment at home, you might be able to find it through your school. Ask your teacher what's available. As a young adult, his art career had started with graffiti. Howdy, good luck to Dana. The performance category gives you the chance to show off your dramatic ability. Using your research as a guide, you will write a script based on the people, places, and events of your topic and then perform them in front of an audience. We're both doing performance yes. right now. It's very fun and very interesting. How we get to change characters yeah. and, you know, act different characters on stage. We went from home to home and everything was restricted to us Jews. To help people connect to your story, you will construct a simple set, design costumes, and use props as part of your performance. The impact can be felt by all when we fasten our seatbelts and go for a ride. The website category allows you to build a project that people can explore online. Using the History Day website editor, you'll combine your text with pictures, music, video clips, and other digital resources to tell your story. I never uh, made a website before History Day, and I had to learn a lot of technology skills on top of a lot of researching skills. Don't worry if you've never made a website before. The History Day website editor is free and very easy to use. Writing papers is a highly personal and individual effort. If you prefer to work alone, this category may be for you. Papers depend mostly on words to tell the story, and you can usually include more information in a paper than in some of the other categories. My History Day project, I'm studying about the Holocaust. The student revolts in Paris in May 1968. Writing a History Day research paper is also great practice for college. 
If you are the creative type who likes to write, this category is for you. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. The exhibit is the most popular History Day category and can be done as an individual or a group. You can have a lot of fun with it, you can personalize it, you get to present it and show off what you've done. You'll create a project similar to what you'd see at a museum, just on a smaller scale. Objects, pictures, and documents can all be used, along with words, to tell your story. You're able to hold it in your hands and be like, I made this. The exhibits you build can be interactive experiences by asking your viewers to press a button, open a door, or look at a video to learn more about your topic. This category is great for students who like graphic design and hands-on creativity. Again, the five categories are documentary, performance, website, paper, and exhibit. Each year, History Day has a different theme. Past themes include rights in history, migrations in history, or conflict and compromise in history. It's up to you to show how your topic relates to this year's theme. History Day projects are not limited to one type of history. You can pick a topic from state, U.S., or world history. I chose the Chinese Exclusion Act. The Montgomery Bus Boycott. You can even look to the history of your own family and community for topic ideas. History Day is one of the only projects where you get to decide what you want to study. So be sure to choose a topic that interests you. I did my project on the Americans with Disabilities Act, which gave equal rights and accessibility and job opportunities to people with disabilities. The inspiration for my project was my neighbor. Her name is Jenna and she has Down syndrome. She's like a little sister to me. She's really fun and such an amazing person. I couldn't really imagine a world where she was discriminated against. You can choose anything from music, sports, art, fashion, the environment, politics, religion, social issues, and protests. But you have to connect it to history. That's because History Day projects are not just reports. It's your job as a historian to explain the significance of your topic in history. What most people don't know about Rosa Parks is that she'd actually been trained at the Highlander Folk School because she was so passionate about fighting segregation. And her training was what really led her to refuse her bus seat that day in Montgomery. So are you ready to become a historian? Do you have ideas floating around in your head about things that you're interested in studying? Great. Here are the steps to get started. At the heart of every History Day project is the research. You should build on internet research by visiting your local public library or a university library. Some topics may lead you to an archive where you will find rare sources. You'll need two kinds of sources in your History Day project. Secondary sources, like biographies, encyclopedias, or trustworthy websites will give you background information or an overall view of your topic. Once you have a general understanding of your topic, you'll need to find personal stories that'll make your project come to life. This is done with primary sources. Primary sources are connected to a historical event because they were created during the time of the event or because they involve someone who participated firsthand. These can be personal interviews, newspaper articles, letters, diaries, or autobiographies. One of the main primary sources was contacting Sylvia Mendez. We found her on Facebook. And so we contacted her and she was, she was happy, you know, that a group, especially Hispanic, wanted to learn about her topic and teach it to others. History Day is not only a project you do at your school, it's also a competition. Judges will ask you questions about your research and your creative process. Your project will be judged based on its historical quality, relation to the theme, and clarity of presentation. A lot of the judges that I had are just really cool people. You may have an opportunity to advance to regional and state competitions, and the best of the best move on to the national competition near Washington, D.C. It's so worth it to make it that far and get a ribbon or a certificate or a medal and just say, look what I did, look what I accomplished. At National History Day, students compete at the University of Maryland in College Park. Students from all over the country bring their projects to be judged. We're from Arkansas! We're from Oklahoma! We're, We're from, from Louisiana. Louisiana! The winners at National History Day receive a variety of prizes and scholarships. We just won the outstanding entry on an international you may think that a History Day project is only going to get you a good grade or win a prize, but it's more than that. History Day participants tell us that their projects gave them the skills and tools that they needed for college and life after school. 
I learned a lot of website creating skills. And then also, I changed my impression about my history. History Day taught me how to find good sources, how to take good notes, and how to write an extensive bibliography. I know History Day is going to be very useful to me in college because we learned how to research and get a lot of information and put it into a big project. It's about developing ourselves and knowing what skills we have and the great things that we can do. History Day is your chance to study something that you are interested in and make it your own. So pick a topic and be proud of your project, wherever it takes you. History Day is fun. It was amazing because we were able to dig deeper in our own history and learn more about it. I didn't know more, uh, a lot about my history until History Day, and that's crazy. Now I'm considering maybe majoring in history, and like I, I never even considered that had I not done History Day and realized how much fun it can be. You can learn a lot from it, and you can learn new things that you didn't know and you might become braver when you do your presentations because some people are real shy like me.